Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to talk about lesson number 78, a virus to speak English well. Okay, let's start. This is Super English Show, and I'm Quy. I welcome all of you to the video, virus to speak English well. Rule number one, re nice. Re nice is the first rule in learning English. Normally, your language cannot be free and fluent when you feel stressful and tired. You also cannot take the language into your head when you do not feel re nice. Uh, language is a tool of communicating, tool to show your mind and your thought. You cannot learn English, you cannot speak English if your head is stuck in. To practice this rule before learning, before practicing English, you breathe in three times deeply and talk with yourself. Speaking English is very easy. Uh, follow me please, deep breath in, breath out. Speaking English is very easy and I will speak English every day. Rule number two, memorizing. Normally, almost English learners think that they must memorize a lot of vocabulary and grammars to speak English well. So they're scared and uh, not confident because they think their ability of memorizing is bad. Is bad. Uh, no, that is not true. The truth is that English will be a tool to help you improve your memory ability. Don't try to memorize vocabulary and grammar uh, in traditional way. What you need to do is to memorize as many English sentences as possible. The more English sentences you have, the more and the better your English will, the better your English level will be. Conquering English sentences not only helps you speak English immediately, but also helps you learn. Uh, but also helps you learn vocabulary and grammar automatically. Don't study vocabulary, uh, vocab vocabulary and grammar separately. You should memorize as many sentences as possible to use immediately. Memorizing English sentences also help you to be confident to talk with foreigners. So, I'm sure the question is how, how to memorize English sentences the super English method has special techniques such as repeating, shocking body language to help you take English sentences, English paragraphs into your unconscious mind and use them anytime. In my next videos, I will share with you these techniques in, super, in special super English lessons. Remember, studying English in a right way will help you fast improve your memory. The more English sentences you memorize, the better your English will be. Rule number three, a reciting. You must remember this rule clearly and deeply. English will never be yours if you cannot recite words, sentence or paragraph by yourself. When you can recite a lot of English paragraphs, I'm sure that you speak English confidently. confidently. Imagine you were in the Hoan Kim Lake and going to Hoan Tai. You can tell foreigners of the tale of Hoan Kim Lake. The English is good or not and how many English words and English grammar you have through the tale. A lot and a lot. Success in learning English and in learning and speaking English is decided by this rule. Almost English learners do not study deeply so they cannot memorize and recite anything that's why they never dare to that's why they never dare to speak english there's a truth simple principle that we just feel confident we just dare to do things that we did before we just do something confident if we did it before and of course we only can speak english fluently if you speak sentences and words before so, you should practice reciting short and long English paragraphs of Super English. You will see the miracle happens. Super English paragraphs are very easy to learn and they can help you break out English easily. Rule number 4, the 3 d rule. 3 d means speak English as, clear, as loudly, clearly and quickly as possible. When you when practice, make sure that you speak loudly because it is the only way to know you speak right or wrong. Besides, loud speaking also improves your listening ability. 
raise up your confidence, develop your memorizing, and then you never and never forget. Speak English as clearly as as clearly as possible. Have you pronounce each word, each sentence correctly? Produce the most confident feeling. The more im important that the more important that speak English clearly helps you to build your standard international mouth muscle. This is the main factor helps you speak English correctly. Speak English as quickly as possible helps you a lot. The more quickly you speak, the better you can memorize English and never forget. The more quickly you speak, the faster the advanced pronunciation will build. And the more you speak, the better your language feeling will be. These are because you see, the first intonation speaking a foreigner is not your problem anymore. You listen is not your problem anymore. You listen English much more easier and react English much better. Note the technique speak English as quickly as possible. Only practice after you practice technique speak English as loudly and clearly as possible. Don't be hard to try to speak English as quickly as possible because you could not do it well before building your international mouth muscle. Rule number five, be stone. Be stone here means stubborn, stubborn like stone. This means no fear of wrong English, no fear to making mistakes. My friend, human gets more adult when making mistakes. You just speak English well after making a lot and lot of mistakes. Never care about how poorly or how well you speak. Only care about getting the chance to speak. Never care about what other people think. Only care about making progress. My friend, enjoy losing face, enjoy making mistakes, and enjoy being left out. All the best English speakers is to be losing face is to speak English poorly. So, what will you choose? 1. Bad at English forever or 2. Speaking poor English, making mistakes, being left at then improve. What will you choose? Start learning English from now on immediately. You will speak English well. That's all about my lesson. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.